getting to it late tonight. Lots of stuff going on. It's baseball season and stuff like that. So, of course, those games take forever. So, anyway, today we're doing one of my favorite beers of all time. Yes, I actually said that. Favorite. And I do mean it this time. I know a lot of times I say I have favorite things like songs and albums and my top five or top ten consists of 50. But this is legitimately one of my favorite beers of all time. This is a local beer if you're in upstate New York, Rochester area to be specific. Um, this is Robox Scotch Ale. Seriously, if not my favorite, one of my top favorites, probably top five, maybe even top three beers of all time. And it is certainly the best Scotch Ale that I've ever had. Certainly, by far. Such a great, such a great beer. I've got it in my glass already because I could not wait. And look at this. My brother, Jeremiah Craig, is coming across country, uh, moving to Boston, from Seattle to Boston, a big move, coast to coast. And him and his fiance stopped in Yellowstone National Park and got me this bitchin' beer glass. Woo! So not only am I having an awesome Scotch Ale, I have this awesome glass. I love it. Oh, so good. I never get tired of that beer. Robox rocks it, man. They rock it. Oh. And thank you, Jeremiah Craig, for that awesome glass. Love it. I gotta make it out to Yellowstone some, sometime soon. Wyoming is one of the few states that I had not been to. So we gotta get there. Ooh. I'm chilly to my bone. It's cold. We were out in cold and rain watching baseball for three hours. So my hands aren't functioning. <laughs> This first song I'm going to play is called Criderville Jail. It is a, uh, hey, how's it going? It is a song off of, uh, I think we got it from a Pete Seeger album. It was like, like a, yes, the baseball game, my son's team won 19 to 4. I feel like we could have just called it quits like an hour beforehand because they would have won anyway and just saved us an hour of freezing. Um, anyway, this song's called Carterville Jail. I think it was from like a, a compilation album uh, that's called Link in the Chain. And it's an album that, that I listened to a lot growing up, um, you know, when I was even like four. Um, and he did it in, in G major. Um, Got us in jail, kind of like one of those things. And um, I remember listening to it all the time with my dad. Uh, he had he had a, a red Dodge Ram, and I remember sitting in um, you know sitting shotgun and listening to that song. And he would always try and get me to sing. I was so bashful when I was a kid. I just didn't want to sing at all. Not, well, not in front of anybody anyway. So I remember him trying to trying to get me to sing, and we were listening to that song quite a bit. And he's like, "Come on." No, I'm not going to sing. And then, so he learned the song on guitar, and he tried to get me to sing it at home. I'm like, no, I won't do it. I won't do it. And there's a couple of verses in there, one specifically that has a ton of swear words. And now, now when I was like, you know, five or six, I knew all the swear words. I just knew I couldn't say them. Um, so what my dad did is he said, oh, come on. I'll, if you sing it, I'll let you sing the verse with all the swear words. And that was extremely enticing. I was like, hmm, I think I might be down with that. Uh, but then I wussed out still. So <laughs> I just wouldn't sing. Um, then, you know, lots of time passed and I got more comfortable singing and um, in front of people anyway. Uh, and then just, it was one of those songs that just stuck with me. And I, one, one day I was in college in our, in our apartment and I thought, you know, that song's not really... A G major type of song. It's more of like a minor, like an A minor. Like, give me something grungy and and just like depressing. Um, give me something that can be 
they can build an intensity. That's how that the lyrics to that song feel like they should be. So I kind of changed it up and I and I put it into uh, in, into A minor and rearranged the song a little bit. So uh, this is my take on that on that really old song. And I think Pete Seeger would like it quite a bit because even that name of that album, The Link in the Chain. Um, I mean, we're all a link in 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 folk music and in, in the stories we tell. So I really think I really think. You know, it might not be his style, but I really think he'd be down with this version. So, anyway, here it is. Criderville Jail. Oh, Dad Morton, he's got us in jail, it's hard. Yes, oh, Dad Morton. Scatters in jail, both mother and father refuse me my bail. Oh, it's hard with the doors on lights and blood and the big log chain.
little hard times. Poor boy, I cried a little jail. Mm. Damn, I love Scotch Ale. So of course I'm biased because Scotch Ale is just my thing. That type of that that type of ale, I just I really go for it. But Robox knocks it out of the park. Kick ass. Oh yeah, so kick ass. You know who else has a good scotch ale that really surprised me? Genesee. Another local Rochester one. Genesee kind of just was like, to me, growing up, it was like one of those like piss beers, but they've actually got a pretty good scotch ale. It's kicking ass. You know, I'm happy to see that too. But for me, nothing touches the Robux. All right, what else are we going to do? What else? We should probably do something a little chill, because that was a pretty intense song. That's pretty intense. Man, my bones are still cold from that, from that game. You know what, we should probably do a little lullaby, a little lullaby. I'm gonna do a James Taylor one that my mother and father used to sing to me. And I sing to my boy right now, and I can't wait to sing this to the new boy that's coming next month. Actually, it's probably I mean, aside from meeting him and holding him for the first time, playing him a lullaby is probably the thing that I can't wait for the most. Like, I just can't wait to do that. I'm so excited. This one's called Close Your Eyes.
actually, I still have to go work out. It's crazy. It's crazy. There's so much to do in a day. But, everybody, you have an awesome, awesome Wednesday. I'll see you Friday. Oh, man, I didn't even mention. On Friday, Friday, we've got a really special episode. It's going to be sick. Oh, so, Friday, we're going to in the Finger Lakes on the east side of Seneca Lake, um, south near Watkins Glen, there is a winery called uh, Ch uh, Chateau, Chateau Lafayette Renault. And we are going to be there live. And they're going to be, uh, we're going to be tasting a flight, a, a little tasting, and they're going to be talking about their wine. And I'll be playing a couple songs, but I'm super excited about it. We're going to be there live talking about their wine right on site at their winery. Um, so be sure to tune in on Friday. Um, it's actually probably going to be about a, a midday, actually, with that one. Um, so it's going to be an earlier episode for Levi's Libations. But, yeah, we're going to be on site at a winery discussing the, the wine, playing some music. And I'm really excited about this one. This one's going to be a, a lot of fun. So um, make sure you tune in on Facebook. Um, about midday or afterwards, if you want to view it afterwards, we'll just post it on, on, on the uh, Levi James Facebook page. Um, and be sure to tune in. It's going to be a really exciting episode. They're a fantastic winery in the Figure Lakes region in upstate New York. Um, they have a lot of gold medals, especially for the Riesling, so I'm super excited about this one. Um, yeah, aside from that, make sure you check out Robox uh, Brewery. Specifically the Scotch Ale, that's my favorite, but they have lots of really good one, uh, really good beers there. Uh, and yeah, have an awesome Wednesday, and I will see you Friday live from Chateau, Chateau Lafayette. Yeah, so excited. All right, everybody have a great Wednesday. Kick ass and take names. Peace.